finally on this Memorial Day, an effort, heroic on its own terms, to put faces to the names etched on one of the capital's most frequently visited war monuments. Here's correspondent Garrett Tenney. More than 58,000 names are on the Vietnam Memorial Wall, including James Walter Prather. But to his four sisters, Private James Prather is much more than just a name. He was a do-gooder. James was a very uh, spiritual yeah, person. Even though he was, was young, he would laugh at anything. He always treated me with affection. He was a football star. He loved chocolate cake, and his most prized possession was his 1957 Chevrolet. Those kinds of things that make a person who he is, you can't know from a name on a wall. That's why the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund has created a virtual wall of faces with pictures and stories to go with the names of the men and women who sacrificed their lives in Vietnam. You have to bring that to life to people to understand the impact. 58,000 names, that's 58,000 lives cut short. There are dreams unfulfilled, families that were forever changed. More than five and a half million visitors come to the wall each year, and on any given day, you can see those whose lives are still impacted by Vietnam. Eventually, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund hopes to open an education center across the street featuring a two story virtual wall of faces. Over the last eight years, while the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund has been raising money for the project, it has collected photographs of nearly every service member killed in Vietnam. But there are still thousands of pictures missing. We still have about 6,600 to go, and we need help from volunteers around the country to help find those last photos. For the Prather sisters, there's no better way to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice than ensuring they're remembered as more than just a name. That was my brother. You want to tell someone. So by putting the faces out there, other people knowing about it, Wow, mm -hmm. that's who he was. When I'm proud of some, I want you to know about it. Mm -hmm. I want you to know about it. Mm -hmm. Makes a difference. In Washington, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News. Thank you for spending part of your Memorial Day with us this evening. Amid the bargain sales, cookouts, and family gatherings, let's take a moment to remember all those men and women who gave their lives in defense of this country.